welcome to summertime summertime in texas so today it was 90 degrees with 48 percent humidity the humidity is a killer so 90 degree dry heat not so bad 48 percent humidity you walk outside it's like a sauna and you just start sweating you don't even have to be doing anything you just start sweating all right enough about the weather I'm Colonel Lee, tuned in to Life with Colonel Lee, and we're going to take a look at another Mountain Smith tent. Mountain Smith, I'm, it's really growing on me. It's a really good product. I think you're going to like this tent. It's a unique color. It does come in a green and gray. Uh, I chose the blue. I did pick this up off of uh, Sierra Trading Post for $100. Uh, it is no longer available through... Sierra Trading Post, but I think steep and cheap, maybe Amazon, you might be able to find it for around $115. So you're still getting a pretty good deal for something that's waterproof, uh, as versatile as this, because you have the two doors, two vestibules, and pretty good space. We're going to show you all that coming up. So sit back. I hope you're in the AC. I will be soon. Let's take a look at the Mountain Smith Celestial 2. All right, we have a pretty blue tent. <clears throat> Mountain Smith. This one is called Celestial 2. <laughs> so this is a three season tent, two doors. So the doors do have a closable solid mesh panel on both of them. That thing there is the gear loft. So it does come with a gear loft. So lots of mesh on this tent. So we do have aluminum poles and we have a gold or yellow, silver or gray, whichever you want to call it. We'll go with uh, yellow and gray. So they have uh, color coded <coughs> webbing and tabs there. <coughs> Bless you. <laughs> and also the clips, color coded yellow. So just get the yellow pole with the yellow, gray with the gray, and you're all good. Okay, so we're going to put the rain fly on and take a look. All right, so here is the Mountain Smith Celestial 2 with the rain fly on. So there's two vestibules. Oh my gosh. <laughs> so two vestibules. So same thing with the color coding. Yellow and gray. Just match up the yellow tabs and buckle. Same with the gray, same on the other side. So we have two guy out points. 
with a good wide strip of extra fa fabric to guide that out. And you have a lower guy out point to increase ventilation. So this does have the high low ventilation. The uh, hot air escapes from the top, cool air comes into the bottom. Same thing on the other side. there all right we're going to open up the vestibule doors show you the different combinations of them do, 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 do. commercial break hi i'm bob stanley do you have crippling depression because i sure as heck do so what you need to do is don't jump off a bridge that doesn't solve anybody's problems take harbo's gummy bears they literally overfill you with sugar. You'll more than likely die of diabetes, but that'll be good if you have depression anyways. Good night. Words of wisdom by Cadence. Okay, here we are back with the Mountain Smith Celestial 2. I think I'm pronouncing that correctly, Celestial 2. Okay, so here we are with uh, one of the vestibule doors open off on one side and the main one is left there I think we need to stretch this out a little bit this is kind of sagging there we go that's a little better all right let's take a look at the other door how we have it set up we have it all the way wide open so there you go all right, so all the uh, specs on this tent, we're gonna post somewhere, some when, right about now. So you should be seeing materials, waterproofing, all that good stuff. I can tell by looking at it, it is not rip stop material. So this tent retails for I think around two, two twenty-five. I paid a hundred dollars. I want to say steep and cheap, or Sierra Trading Post. Sierra Trading Post, I think it was. I think Sierra Trading Post is currently sold out of this model. So this Celestial Two came in this blue, and then the uh, all kind of a green and gray color. <clears throat> so all right we're gonna take a look inside and show you some things in there and then we're gonna get the tape measure and uh get some measurements of this thing for reference you know i like to let people know the what size the height and weight that i am <clears throat> so they can kind of gauge with themselves how they might fit in the tent how much room they may have so i'm six foot 210 pounds so let's open this sucker up here is the uh, gear loft so it has a split here in the center you can see that that's so you can hang your lantern there's a hook up in there when we, when we bring you inside, I'll sh show you better on that one. But then there's a couple extra pockets here. And then, of course, you have the top part that will hold things. So, pretty good little gear loft. Okay. Let's measure the width. Right about 50, 51 inches wide. Take my shoes off here. Let's see what our peak height is. All 
Uh, peak height is 45 inches. So it's not bad. I'm able to sit up tall and I still have plenty of room here in the center. And I can still probably move about three quarters of the way over before my head starts to hit the ceiling of the tent. All right, let's get a length. We're a 90 inches long. Not bad. It's, uh, I think it's your typical size of a two man tent. Might be just a hair larger, as in the length and the width. I think the height is pretty much about what you normally get in a two man tent. All right. Let's take a look inside before I burn up. All right, we are inside here. I'll show you the door. So pretty much opens all the way around. You've got about four inches there. So you can just wad this up and just stuff them into the side pocket here. So let's go out of the way like so. And then here is your little loop for your torch light whatever and then of course these are for your gear loft right, there's four points there and it's kind of nice uh you get a little bungee so you get the loop and toggle it's easier to put this up versus i mean just a, a little strapping of material that you have to tie or whatever all right so here's one of the vents Here's another vent. Whew, I'm pouring sweat here. Uh, not much of a breeze right now, but I can feel just the, the slightest little breeze. I can feel it coming through the no seam mesh here. So one of the disadvantages of having a two, a two door, two vestibule, two person tent is it's going to be heavier. So if you're, Using it to backpack, just plan on carrying about another pound or two because of the extra material for the vestibule, right? But one of the advantages of it is you get the good cross breeze, right? And you don't have to wake up your mate to climb in over them to get out. They can just get out of their own door. Or if you have extra gear, just use one for like a back porch and then use another one as a main entrance. So, there's always pros and cons with everything you get. Okay, so I know this material is not, this material, does some material? This tent, this tent is not as quality material as the last tent I, we took a first look at, the uh, Mountain Dome. Uh, that tent retailed a little higher around a $300 tent and I paid a little bit more for it I think it was around 143 160 but this tent is waterproof so I did camp in it my cousin and I at uh, Meridian State Park we had a light drizzle a little bit I mean it stayed dry in here I haven't really truly tested this one for waterproofness but all the seams are taped and sealed we have a nice six to seven inch bathtub style floor and uh, mountain smith is good good quality tents so you do have the good zippers the ykk zippers and you don't have the metal pull tab you know you have the material so the wind's blowing you don't hear the jingling jingling you know so lots of little things you know they pay attention to so all the corners, uh, see that here? Okay, so you get a little bit of extra material for the corners. That's your stakeout points. So just in case, uh, put an extra piece of material in there, extra stitching, and they really tape that down so that you don't get any leaks, okay? So we have a seam here, uh, right here. It's taped really well. <clears throat> I 
I like uh, tents that are that come that way from the factory because they have a nice facility to do their work. I mean, if I was to try to do this myself, I'm not going to do as good a job as what they do. So, and they do it all day long, every day. So, whoo, I need a breeze. <laughs> uh, we're going to have to uh, <sighs> cut this short here, I guess. We got to get out of this tent. I'm wondering if I had this opened back more, I probably might be able to get a little more breeze in here, maybe. There's just not much breeze out here right now. The trees are, leaves are barely even. I don't even think they're moving. So you can see the mesh here. There's the guy line. That big flap of material, that's, uh, that's pretty heavy duty. It's gonna be able to withhold some pretty good winds. Keep it sturdy and stable, right? So if, oh, there's a breeze. Just a slight flutter, it, and I, it felt good. <laughs> I need more breeze, look at me. I'm sweating, sweating. Okay, so if that, remember that lower guy out point? If I was to guy that out, I might get some more air in here, I'm sure, but I don't know. All right, we're gonna get out and uh, take a look. We're gonna see if there's anything else that we need to talk about with this tent. Uh, it did not come with an included ground sheet. So I'm not sure if they offer one. I almost bought uh, the Morrison. It's pretty similar to the Celestial. I don't know if it fits the same or not. I decided not to do it. I just used the emergency uh, blanket has the mylar reflective material on one side and then the uh, emergency bright orange on the other So what I do here, let me show you here Oh, let me show you the vestibule here so I wear size 12 and This can I could probably get that a little bit more tighter so you get more room. It's not quite as roomy as some others but I mean you still got a good 12 inches, probably 16, 17 inches there in the center. But you could definitely, you know, put your back, your pack here, lay it on its side probably, and be okay. All right, so our, here's our orange emergency blanket. All right, so what I do is, in the summertime, I put the reflective material down to reflect the heat off the ground back to the ground and thusly keeping the heat off of me and then in the winter time i reverse that i flip this over so the orange is down mylar is facing up so my body heat is reflected back to me now of course that's uh, all in theory do i think it really works i think so a little bit but if i don't have a fitted ground sheet or something I use, I use this what I use. These are perfect for one person, two person tents. Uh, three person tent, you're gonna have about a foot short. So I guess you could leave like the back. If you're not gonna go through the back as much, you can leave that short a little bit. A four man tent is gonna take two of these and then it fits perfect. So let me get those at Walmart for 11 bucks. It's not bad. And you can use them for a sunshade. If you have your trekking poles, some extra guy wire and uh, some ground pegs. You could uh, flip that over and like the sun's behind me right now, I could have an extra one of these and rig it up and have that sun reflected back away from me. And uh, of course, you know, being in the shade definitely helps a lot. But if you're able to reflect the sun, keep those UVs off of you, might be even cooler yet. So yeah, I think they work. I think they're worth the money. All right, we're gonna get out of this tent.